Hi friends, I am Nitan Shastogi and I am at Barcelona attending MWC 2019. But before the event officially begins, a bunch of brands have been having their pre-MWC events and prime among them is Huawei, which has just taken covers of not one, not two, but three different laptops. And what I have here is the brand's flagship laptop, the MateBook X Pro. If you remember, the MateBook X Pro was first unveiled back in MWC 2018. And this one is just an upgraded version of the same with even compact form factor and refresh internals. So let's take a closer look at the laptop. So as I mentioned, it's a very, very compact laptop. You can see it just weighs around 1.33 kgs and that makes it really easy to handle with a single hand. It also is a very robust laptop. You can see it's metal build. Available in two colors of grey and silver. As you can see, silver is there. So these are the two colors available with the device. It seems to be really well built. And in terms of slimness, it's very slim also. 14.6 mm and at its slimmest point it's even slimmer so let's take a look at the keyboard area and the touchpad so you can see it's a very macbook like style and just like last year's MateBook Expo there is a recessed web camera as you can see plays in the middle of the top key row and let me just show the kind of web camera shots you will get with this so as you can see it seems to be pretty good however once you are close I am pretty sure that this won't be the best way to capture yourself because you can see the angle of web camera isn't the usual one which is which will take some time getting used to let me just close it the trackpad is really really smooth one of the best I have ever come across as you can see it supports multiple gestures you can easily double tap, single tap, which is very good. Talking about the keyboard, let me just check that out. I think experience is really, really impressive. Unlike the MateBook 13 and MateBook 14, the keys have really good travel. And there is enough gap between them to ensure fast and accurate typing. So I'm really impressed by the typing experience as well as trackpad performance of this laptop and of course you get the screen as well so that's good. Another thing which you might not have noticed is that it has very slim bezels. The band claims a screen to body ratio of 91% and what that means is that even though it seems like a 13 inch laptop, it packs in a larger 13.9 inch display and with a resolution of 3000 into 2000 pixels, the screen just seems really good. And it also has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio, which means that you will be able to fit in a larger content in it. Let me just show you the specifications. As I mentioned, 3000 into 2000 pixels, and it's supposed 10 point multiple. As you can see, zoom in, zoom out, and all those things will be possible in this. It features a 57.4 watt power battery life and has a USB Type-C charger and the interesting thing while talking about the charger is that it just has two USB Type-C ports here and a 3.5mm interface and a, just a single Type-A port so that's something that you need to know hardware wise you get Intel's 8th Gen 4 i7 or i5 laptop processor depending upon the variant you go for which has been paired with NVIDIA's latest MX250 graphics card so it comes with 2 GB GDDR5 memory and you can also opt for a lower end variant with internal USB graphics in terms of RAM you get 8 GB or 16 GB of RAM and storage wise you get 512 GB or 1 TB SSD so all the specifications are here so I won't bore you. Another thing worth mentioning however is that you can see that it has speakers here so it has a quad speaker array and with support for Dolby Atmos you can be assured that you will get really good sound experience. Let's just try it out. So this is the full volume and 
and even though there is lot of noise here it seems to be quite impressive although i'm not sure if you will be able to enjoy it in this youtube video you just shut it down we have already talked about the design language which is very interesting and of course I, as i mentioned it's a type c charger so you can use this device this device is charger to charge your smartphone or other type c enabled gadgets and just like macbook 13 and 14 you get huawei share it's a very neat solution to ensure that you are able to seamlessly transfer content between smartphones and laptops and we'll definitely put it to test whenever it possible so that's quite interesting the brand claims and all the battery life with this device and it will be available for now in european markets only we are yet to get a confirmation if the brand will be announcing the huawei macbook x pro in the indian market however we definitely hope so